This is Max Dashu. And for I've spent the past 49 years looking for women's history in every part of the world, re-envisioning what history looks like, who it's about, remapping, overturning the ruling frameworks, literally turning the world upside down. In space, there is no up or down. And looking for the women. This is a process of excavation, digging out cultural treasures most of us have never been shown, not in schools, not in books surveying world history or comparative religion, not in the mass media or the stories it tells us. There are the riches of the ancient Saharan rock art going back 12,000, 8,000, 5,000 years ago. The ceramic sculpture of priestesses or medicine women in Ecuadorian archaeology. In other parts of the world, we are never shown. Not coincidentally, women are prominent in these passed over places, in the oral histories, as well as the archaeology. Growing up in the United States, we got none of the ancient or medieval history of North America, the authentic testimony or of Africa, except for Egypt, and they tried to make that white. So we're breaking through bias, the cloaking of the real spectrum of human achievement. The lens that looks away from the presence of women, women's work, social and spiritual leadership. The world looks very different when you center women. When you see their megalithic statues in Guernsey, in Spain and Portugal, France, the Alps, the old Neolithic cultures of Italy and Sardinia, and the richly carved monumental women in southern Ethiopia. What about the cultural treasures of Arabia and Jordan, the Nabataeans, the amazing rock art of priestesses and invoking women? Or the profound wisdom legacies out of Egypt in her great, great antiquity? or the powerful female icons of Neolithic Anatolian villages, not just Shatal Huyuk, but Kuskoyuk, many, many others dating back 7,000, 8,000 years ago. We can recover the marvelous painted ceramics of Neolithic Iranian women and of the Indus civilization, the Ajanta cave paintings. We need to see those women, what their worlds look like, their ceremonies, their culture and culture making, ceramics and painting, and also how conquest and slavery change things. We need to know about women ancestors and shamans in the rock art of Zimbabwe and the modern female oracles and diviners and healers. And while we're at it, look at the artistry of African women's dress and headdress, jewelry and body art. We can also recover the matricultural societies in the deep roots of the Mediterranean, in Crete and the Cycladic islands of the Aegean, a rich legacy of women's ceremony and dance. In archaic Greek, amazing scenes of women dancing together with greenery, or with snakes. They taught us Western Civ, all through the template of a deeply patriarchal society, of slaveholders and colonizers. But what about the priestesses and the oracles? The Etruscans were renowned for the liberty and high status of women, which is also visible in Iberian art, with myriads of fine sculptures of women. And we have the Gaulish goddesses and priestesses and healers. And those of the Britons, the Cymri and the Scots. The Vuller, Old Norse staff women and their ecstatic prophecy. I'm just showing you a few of the regional shows. There are many more of them yet to be digitized and formatted and recorded. And not all of the treasures are ancient or medieval. 
Look at the Black Atlantic and all the worlds of Brazil and the Caribbean and the Sea Islands and the, the Maroon people in Suriname and Jamaica. This is only a taste and there'll be much more to come as I get time to work on all of this of women's cultural treasures from around the earth. You are invited to sponsor this work. The more funding, the faster it all comes out. My goal for this Patreon is for a baseline and beyond. So watch this space. And thank you for those who choose to sponsor. <laughs>